Hey everybody, welcome back to the math office. Today I'm going to talk a little bit more about counterexamples. Now I touched on them briefly in a previous video, but today I'm going to go a little more in depth with them, so hopefully you'll understand them a little better. First we have to refresh our memory on the two parts of a conditional statement. A conditional statement has a hypothesis and a conclusion. Now, when it comes to counterexamples, you have to ask yourself this question when you're looking at a conditional statement. If the hypothesis is true, is the conclusion always true? Now, if the conclusion is always true, then it's a true conditional statement. But if the conclusion is not always true, then you have to prove that by coming up with a different conclusion that you can reach. This different conclusion is called a counterexample. Okay, so let's take a look at a conditional statement that's false, and then let's prove it false using a counterexample. So here's our statement on the board. If the sidewalk is wet, then it is raining outside. So that's our statement on the board. Now our hypothesis is the sidewalk is wet. Our conclusion in this statement is it is raining outside. Now we ask ourselves this question. If the sidewalk is wet, is it always true that it's raining outside? The answer to this is no, because we can come up with any number of reasons why the sidewalk is wet. And each one of these reasons is a counterexample. For one instance, if the sidewalk is wet, then perhaps someone turned on their sprinkler in their lawn, and their sprinkler got the sidewalk wet. Maybe it didn't rain at all. Another example, maybe a couple of children were playing outside with a hose or a bucket of water, and they got the sidewalk wet that way. One more example, maybe it did rain, but it's not raining anymore. I mean, does the sidewalk dry up instantly when it stops raining? No, maybe it just rained and it stopped raining. So any one of those is a counterexample. All right, so there you go. That's our quick overview of counterexamples. Thanks for stopping by the math office. Uh, I'm gonna take a nap now, so please, go in.